This video will demonstrate the usage of Ansible to automate Alibaba Cloud. Uh, the demo will uh, go through the Ansible modules which are used to create different Alibaba Cloud resources, how you can configure the Alibaba uh, access credentials and secret key within Ansible Tower so that you can authenticate to the API. And finally, we'll see the playbook to provision the different Alibaba Cloud resources. To get started, uh, Alibaba is a certified cloud provider by Red Hat, so you can confidently use Red Hat solutions on top of uh, Alibaba Cloud. You have different regions available for Alibaba, and for the purpose of this demo, I'll be using the Mumbai region in India. And the Alibaba Cloud Compute Services Guide is available from Ansible.com website and you will see all documentations related to the certified modules uh, from Ansible. Uh, in this video, we will be mostly focusing on uh, these different Ansible modules, especially how to create a virtual private cloud, a virtual switch, then the security group to allow access to the instance, and uh, how to use the Red Hat Enterprise Linux images using Ali underscore image module and modules for disk and instance. So first and foremost what you need to do is you need to create a Ansible Tower custom credential which will capture the Alibaba Cloud access key and secret key. Uh, to do that uh, you can connect to Ansible Tower, create a custom credential type of Alibaba and uh, create uh, the fields for access key and the secret key and store it in an extra variable access underscore key and secret underscore key which you can later use in your playbook and once you have the credential types created you can go to credentials and create a credential of type Alibaba choose that type Alibaba here as you see here then give the access key and secret key this Alibaba access key and secret key could be very easily created within the uh, access key management console in Alibaba Cloud Console and uh, uh, copy this access key ID and the secret key ID. Once the credentials are created, you can start defining the playbook. And in my playbook, I have uh, already created a couple of variables like which region I want the instance to be created, the rel8 image ID, the instance type like one CPU and uh, one GB of memory, should I allow the public IP access, a host name, disk size, and the CIDR block uh, for the VPC. So the first uh, module is Ali underscore VPC and we'll create the uh, network with the CIDR underscore block var which we created earlier. And the second one creates a virtual switch uh, which will use the same uh, uh, the network ID and we'll create in the zone AP South dash 1A which is again in the Mumbai region. And the third one creates a security group to allow port 22 access from anywhere uh, in a real production environment you should uh, uh, allow this only from the networks which you trust and for the purpose of this demo I am allowing it from anywhere and finally there is an LE underscore instance uh, Ansible module which will combine all these virtual private cloud virtual switch security groups and everything and create this instance so let's get started I am using Ansible tower uh, 3.8 for the purpose of this demo and I have created a template uh, in the name uh, Ali Alibaba create underscore Alibaba underscore instance as you see here and uh, this template uses uh, the credential which I created and the project is Alibaba so uh, under the project you see the Alibaba uh, source control manager coming from my local GitLab and this is my local GitLab which has this playbook. So what I do now is uh, I will just go to the ECS console which is the Elastic Compute Service from Alibaba. We'll quickly refresh and make sure that I don't have any instance right now. And uh, also into the virtual private cloud console I make sure that I only have the default VPC which is part of 
the Alibaba region and if you remember the playbook we are going to create a VPC in the name VPC underscore Ansible so let's go and uh, provision these resources we'll go to templates and hit on this rocket button it will connect to the Alibaba API and uh, authenticate and start creating this virtual private cloud virtual switches and everything so while the job is running uh, I will be connecting back to the VPC let's refresh and momentarily you should be seeing a new virtual private cloud being created in the name VPC underscore Ansible and once this uh, VPC is created you can go back to virtual switch and see whether a new virtual switch is created as you see here there is a new virtual switch in the name vswitch underscore Ansible and let's go and check the tower yeah it's completely successful it actually created the virtual switch and created a relate instance and before that it created a security group as well as you see here create security group so let's go back to the ECS console and check the security group here you see there is a new sec group created and under instances you should be seeing a rel8 instance uh, up and running so it is running here Let's find out the IP address which is 149.129.178.66 and I will go back here and use that IP address and I am going to use the SSH key which I pre-created uh, for this demo. Typing yes, says welcome to Alibaba Cloud Elastic Compute Service. Let's look at the REL version, it's 8.0, uptime is almost uh, less than a minute it's just up and running and uh, finally let's see the CPU and memory it's a one CPU uh, instance with one GB of RAM so that was a quick demonstration of how to use uh, Ansible to automate resources within Alibaba cloud I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching